Hi guys, what's going on? So today we're back in the woods. Thank you for joining us. I've got my helper with me today. Guys, this is going to be such a short video. Just putting out there uh, some stuff. So um, a lot of people were asking me what's my usual setup for starting a fire. You know, I'm out filming today in the woods and want to start a fire. How do I do it? You know, I'm not going for bushcraft perfection. You know, I'm not going for uh, primitive guide or whatever, do you know what I mean? Just how I start a fire in the woods and the way I do it. So, spin you round. Say hi, Lids. Hi. So, what we do is, as you can see, just uh, clear a patch in the leaves, because at the moment it's, don't what you Americans call it, fall, I think, or whatever. But yeah, all the fucking leaves are falling off the trees. So, uh, yeah, so, autumn. So yeah, so we've cleared a patch in the ground, so we've got a nice patch to work with. Uh, if you can get to dry, that's perfect, uh, Perfect, but at the moment it's sodding wet, it's been absolutely tipping down all day. So, then we find um, here in the middle, I've set up the branches, so uh, the twigs I've got ready for this. So I've got here, I have tiny, which is going to go on first. Then we have a little bit smaller to uh, the same width as pencil size. Then we have large, uh, or bigger. And then obviously from that, when is it this point, then you can chuck on whatever and it'll be sustained, yeah? Be a sustainable fire. So uh, this is the three piles we use. Then the sort of stuff we're going to use for this, and how you find it, is some stuff like this, deadfall. So you can find it in the trees, in the um, just dangling, you know? So I don't know if there's any dead pieces that have fallen or I'll find stuff. Like, like this, for instance, I'll show you. There's some pieces here that have just fallen. Um, you can just pick it off the ground, or pick it off the trees because it's not going to be wet, you know, but it fell from the tree or whatever. So then, another way we can do it is by uh, picking dev off the ground, um, which is not wet and try and be a little bit in the air, you know. Dev on the ground works a lot better when it's summer and not rain raining. So uh, dev fall in the winter and the old one can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we find some uh, in the form of a downed limb, quite a big downed limb, and then it has this stuff off the grain that's kind of stood there. So you can just snap it. And a good way to do it, I do it, is uh, grab it between my thumb and my forefinger, and if it snaps, like that, then you're game on, you know? If there's any sort of fight in it or play, then it's still alive and you can start a fire with it, you know? It's too, uh, it's too alive, too green. So, I'll get back to it. I'll get this fire organized and I'll show you how I do it. Right guys, so we've got all our uh, small pile. Obviously this pile is relative to how big or how long you want the fire to run for. If you want a big fire, you want to start to go, get it going a good size, then you want a bigger pile or whatever, or a more substantial pile. But I'm not going to be here very long. Just out for a few hours filming. I have so much to do today, you wouldn't believe guys. So what I like to do when it's wet is uh, get a small pile of these. And like I said, these will be bigger if you are going to be here for a longer period of time. I'm not. I'm just doing this because I don't want it to put on the wet ground because it will suck all the heat out of the fire. So we're just going to lay some of these bigger ones down. Hopefully you guys can see that. Do apologise if my camera work is dog shit. But there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I tend to just put a small pile like this on the ground. And then... Uh, Kind of try and fill the gaps in so that all the shit ain't falling through. And then we are golden. So now, what I like to do is just uh, get this, the bunch of small twigs, get them in your hand, kind of, and then kind of just make a little cave. So now I've got like a little cave of which I can put whatever fire starter or tinder, um, whatever fire starter I'm going to use. Every does it a different way. I've seen people use T, do TP methods and loads of different stuff. So, but yeah, this is the way I do it. So now we've got that ready. We can uh, grab this. This is my fire kit, so we can overuse natural materials. Oh god, natural materials like I've got here, birch bark. Got normal cotton wool. I've also got some uh, man-made fire starters, but oh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use something else. Going to use these cotton balls dipped in wax. Uh, dipped in wax, dipped in uh, Vaseline. I did a video on this. If you want to see that, guys, go back and check that out. My channel. But yeah, so I find these are amazing because they burn for so freaking long. I mean, they're just 
amazingly good. I think, anyway. Yeah, so now you've got that there. Um, you can use as many as you like. I like to make sure it's going, so I'll use a good amount. But with these, I think just give them a good breaking up so you've got all the small fibres exposed. I'll just chuck that under there. Like so. Then, guys, I just take my ferro rod. Like I said, hopefully you can see this. Try and bring you in a little bit closer. There we go. Hope you can see this. So here we go. One strike, and she's up. Now you'll hear sissing, uh, hissing, especially if you're outside, because everything will be a little bit damp just from rainfall, so it may uh, be a little bit damp, so I should just, just say it burning the water off and maybe some sap if you've got a carnivorous woodland around you. Now, one little top tip for fires is when the flame is above the product, um, the product, the fuel you've put on top, generally it's through it. So, for instance, like this, the fire has burnt through the top layer of the twigs so the flame is higher than it so it's generally the rule is it's burning it you know it's uh it's got it so it's got a lot of air going to this so it's a nice little fire started it's not going to go out hopefully I say hopefully because things can go tits up another top tip is if fire is dying a little bit just give it a tiny little blow No, but don't be worried, it's not like a candle, you can't blow it out, not at this stage, you know what I mean? Just a gentle blow, I'm not saying do like three little pigs and try and blow the ice down, but just uh, just do a gentle, gentlish blow on it and you'll see it. And then it'll look like it's, you're blowing it the other way and then you're pushing all this oxygen to it and then it'll hopefully get up and going. So, we'll bring you back once this is burnt down and we're putting on the next set of fuel. Right guys, so now, I'll just push you in that view so you can see it. We are now going to um, put on some bigger fuel. So, just try and move you along. Yeah, we're just putting on some bigger fuel. So we're going to the next pile, and if you can see the pile, we're going to the next pile and just put this on top. Hasn't got to be perfect, guys. It hasn't got to look like, do you know what I mean? A coliseum, it hasn't got to look spot on. It's just got to be working and burning. That's literally all we're doing here. So, uh... Yeah, so I've put the next fuel on. The most important thing is not to smother it, you know, not to put too much on. Now, everybody's got their own thoughts and how they want to do it. So I expect I'll get some sort of grief in the comments of how somebody does it differently and how I'm smothering it or how I'm doing it wrong. But at the end of the day, it works and this is how I do it, you know. Everybody's got their own ways of doing it and this is the way I do it and this is what I was asked for. So, and like I said, I'm moving on to the next fuel. Just slowly building it up. And like I said, my rule is when the flame's above of the current fuel that's on there, um, it's ready for the next fuel. That's the way I've always done it, that's the way I was taught. Um, yeah, so. Uh, now you can do it with feather sticks, you can do it with everything, guys. You, there's so many ways, different ways of starting fires, it's unbelievable. But this is a quick way, the way I like to do it when I'm out in the woods, filming. Because I don't need to wait, I don't, can't waste time, you know, on getting stuff ready and. Some days I like to do it, you know, practice the bushcraft skills and do it all by hand, but lots of the time I'm out here filming, I can't waste time and I'll get a fire going and get it going quick, so I'll just uh, do it like you've seen today. And there's nothing better, guys, than a fire. Getting a fire going is amazing, you know, especially uh, nowadays because so many people don't know how to light a fire in everyday life, you know, it's an old dying art. Everybody can use a lighter, but can everybody do it all by hand, you know? Know your trees, know what you're looking for, and I think it's quite a skill. Quite a skill a lot of you have developed, and a lot of people in our community take for granted, you know? Everybody thinks everybody can do it, but it's not like that. So if you think he's going out a little bit, you just give it a little bit of blow. And then she's up and burning. Yeah, guys, so now I'll bring you back around to the next fuel. So guys, as you can see here, 
the fire is up and going and uh, the flames above. Now the medium fuel of which I put on, the ones that are pencil size and under, uh, a little bit under. So now we're going to put on some bigger fuel, which I had, which all the ones I didn't use for the bottom planks. And now I believe this is at the stage where it's self-sustained. So you can walk away a little bit, um, you know, go and collect some more logs and it, you'll come back and it'll still be here. You know, it's not in the volatile baby stage. It's up and ready. So you put on as big as you like and do whatever you like. Now you can go and collect some more, which we need to do because we've got no more. But yeah, so I'll get Libby to collect some more wood. And like I said, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed joining us today for uh, just a short video on how to light a fire and my methods and what I use just for every day when I'm uh, out in the woods filming. Um, we've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed having you. Aren't we, lads? Say goodbye. Bye. Anyway, guys, well, um, if anybody wants any t-shirts or for that, give me a shout. If any of you guys want to follow me on Facebook, which would be a massive help, go down to the description and check the link out down there and uh, click on that. It'll take you right to the Bristol Prepper page. Um, but as always, guys, please like, share, comment and subscribe. It all helps my channel massively and I love every one of you beautiful people. Otherwise, guys, as always, stay prepared and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.